Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. I'm happy to be back. Thank you guys for still being subscribed to the channel. And a big shout out to everyone who came and was part of the stream earlier on today. So I'll jump right back into ESO with a brand new build. I know I haven't made videos in quite a while, fellas. And you guys have probably heard this until you're blue in the face. You've played around with all the sets. There's really not much variety in Cyrodiil right now, but that doesn't matter. I'm still going to bring you this build anyway. This is the best build that I've ever come up with. I'm sure someone else is running it. I mean, there's only so many sets to choose from, but this is by far the most consistent, just all around best mag DK build that I could possibly put together for a 1VX scenario. So without further ado, let's get right into it, fellas. So our character sheet, my guy has kind of turned to the uh, side there, it's kind of off-putting, but it is what it is. Here's our character sheet completely unbuffed, and if you guys want to take a look at uh, everything buffed, just real quick. So here's everything buffed on the front bar, and here's the back bar. Notice our resistances are absolute through the roof. Magic recovery 1650, and this is all without continuous attack, mind you. I'm only 906 CP, so you can actually get more crit resistance, a little bit more resistances, and spell penetration. The higher uh, CP that you are, but me being a low B noob, having two accounts, yeah, it could be better. Let's just say that. So I am a dark elf. Completely preference though. You could run high elf, uh, imperial. Should you run the the lizard dude? Does not really matter. It's just, just preference at the end of the day. So I'm running bewitch sugar skull, super cheap because I'm Jewish. I like to be cheap. So definitely bewitch sugar skulls. Running the Atronach Boon. Uh, this gives us the recovery uh, we're going to need. You can also adjust this in your jewelry enchants, but we'll go over that in just a second. So, with those formalities out of the way, we'll get into the sets that I'm running. So, right now, I'm running five piece crafty. Uh, this is on uh, both set, both bars. I have all jewelry crafty as well as the weapon just because it makes sense in my head to have it that way. I don't like having armor and jewelry and weapons from a set, it, it just drives me batshit crazy. So I have a shock damage enchant on this. The reason I have shock damage is because I'm stuck in my old ways, fellas. I really like charged. It's super underrated. Like, even with the burning status effect, I mean, combustion passive was pretty much unchanged. This gives you a lot of sustain. And I really think it kind of goes under the radar. And not only that, because I have a shock damage glyph, whoever I'm focusing is concussed. So they're taking increased damage. Pretty much any time I'm auto-attacking them, the status effect is up. So Crafty just gives you a, a shitload of Maxim Magica. Next set we're running, I mean, yeah, Swarm Mothers and Dommy House. I don't have a Dommy House good shoulder piece, but typically you'll want to run Swarm Mothers and Dommy House for your two Maximum stat pieces. And last but not least, we're running four to five Brass Spells. I've tried running two damage sets in open world, and you just get absolutely smushed on a DK. You just simply don't have the mobility to be able to get away with not having resistances so four to five brass i got reinforced on all my heavy big pieces such as the chest and the legs just give you even more resistances this gives you health all the armor that you need if you're low cp like me it helps having the extra health just so you can get one tapped and you guys saw i had 35k resistances on my back bar this allows you to go on the offensive much more often instead of backpedaling on your back bar because your resistances are too low I also have reinforced on the feet. So on the hands, I have in pin. The waist, I have in pin. Uh, you can either have in pin or sturdy. Uh, just preference. I tend to roll dodge more than I block, so I went with the in pin. So for the jewelry, I cannot believe I don't have a gold crafty necklace. That really upsets me. Most CDs kick it in, fellas. So just on the crafty pieces, uh, they're all arcane. One spell damage, two recovery. If you're better at mag DK than me and you can manage your sustain better, by all means push more damage, but you really don't need it with this build. I was going to include an introductory clip, but I'm just going to leave the stream somewhere up here in a card or, or something like that. It had a 1v9. Uh, the quality is really bad. This is my first stream back with my new PC, so it did take me a little while to dial in the bit rate. I didn't fear until the very end of the stream that I could crank this bitch up to like 10,000 kilobytes per second bit rate and have a flawless 1080p 60 fps quality stream so going forward i'll be doing that guys as far as consumables are concerned there's only three potions i would consider having on you i would have alliance spell drought we'll be running this to take the place of one of our slots on our bar to kind of free up some space 
You want some tripods and obviously your essence of detection. For all the night blades, probably like 38% of the classes are night blades. So we'll quickly go over the skills. Uh, nothing new here. Pretty standard mag DK. We have engulfing flames. This does go for the temper. Actually, it's already at 10%, so you don't have to worry about that. We got fossilized, one of the best CCs in the game. Elemental drain, free to cast, softens up your enemies, give you magic return, flame lash, a great source of healing, especially when you're 1vxing. If you're in a group, you can run bolt and whip, but if you're by yourself, run with flame lash so you can proc your power lash to get you some insane ass heals off. Burning embers, a great heal over time, heavy hitting dot. Ferocious Leap, this is our gap closer, plus it brings people out of stealth, and this is our burst combo. Back bar, running cauterizes, gives us crit on the back bars for when we're not running our Alliance Spell Drought. Alliance Spell Drought does give you crit as well. So in those instances where you have to pop a detect pod or whatever, at least you'll still have crit on the back bar. Coagulating blood, this is really good. This is why I like running crafty, because if you run spinners or something of that nature, you're not going to have as much healing, so crafty kind of feeds into both, even though spinners is a little bit better damage oriented. Dragonfire scale, I'm still getting grief about this, guys. I, I, I get hate mail for running wings. You guys have to understand, this is a Magicka DK with zero procs. You have to have some cheesy ass shit to, to just survive. Like, this wouldn't even be called cheesy. It costs a lot and only affects, like, you know. A third of the class is in the game, really. So, I mean, if you're one of the, the third of the class, I mean, it sucks for you, but the other two thirds of the time, I'm getting shit on. This is just a wasted spot on my bar, so it is what it is. Volta armor. Uh, this pulls people out of stealth. Pretty huge ass AoE. Plus, this is our uh, major uh, resolve, whatever buff. And then channel rig acceleration. You can run a race against time as well. I prefer to have the elongated. Uh, upkeep on this i hate having to reapply this like every 12 seconds so i just cast it one and done last but not least have temporal guard on the back war for some more passive damage mitigation we'll go over the cp real quick fellas i'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes so uh green tree really doesn't matter just have the war mount passive for the love of god blue tree the best way to go over this i feel is kind of going over what skills are running so i'm running a deadly aim Thaumaturge. Now, some people have told me, I've not played around with this too much, um, but they do have a very valid point. Instead of running Thaumaturge, you need to be running the uh, area of effect. Uh, I think it is, yeah, uh, Biting Aura, I believe, and not Thaumaturge. Um, someone's going to have to correct me on that. The Mag DKs are far superior than me. You know, maybe kind of enlighten me, but um, from what I've heard, you're supposed to run Biting Aura. Because I think uh, as half of your abilities are AOE, Thaumaturge, like who cares about your dots taking a little bit harder. I agree with that. So if you're not, if you don't want to run Thaumaturge, I would toss your points into Biting War instead and have that passive. We have Enduring Resolve, reduce the damage you take from damage over time. Effects and duels, remove, reduce the damage. But single target effects, pretty standard stuff. Going over to the Red Tree. I really like the way I have the Red Tree set up. There's a lot of energy. So while afflicted with a stats effect, all your ability, well, your core combat abilities cost uh, 25% less. Juggernaut, while you're under the effects of crowd control immunity, you take less damage, peace of mind, increase your magicka health, and stamina recovery while under the effects of crowd control ability, which you pretty much always are, right? And then harden, increase the duration of crowd control immunity by 3% per stage, up to 15%. So you can see how all these kind of feed into each other. Survival instincts is just kind of preference. So, yeah, guys, that really does it I, I just want to thank you again for dropping it by i just figured i would upload this video new pc new stream every day i'm gonna try to stream at least from 6 p.m until you know until i get tired in the weekends i'll be streaming a lot more uh, work schedule during the week is why i have to do the stream so late so anyways it's great to be back thank you guys for tuning in watching the video please like sub Hit the bell icon just so you're notified when I come out with some, a lot of cheesy builds. I'm kind of looking into the patch notes. Been playing around a little bit on the PTS to kind of see where the game's going to be going. I'm really interested to see how the proc sets are going to turn out, whether they balance them correctly. Please leave some comments down in the towel section what you think they should do to their proc sets. Should they just completely tweak them, remove half of them? What do you think they should do? So, yeah, uh, this has been Horcrux. And, again, I appreciate you guys. And take care. Deuces.